From Mark Harmon's dog terrorizing people on set to Polly Perrette coming out with claims of assault, here's what really happened between Polly Perrette and Mark Harmon. So, actors leaving shows is quite a common occurrence in Hollywood, and the longer the series, the more likely it is to happen. Needless to say, Polly's departure devastated her fans. It wasn't surprising that NCIS was one of the shows that saw a beloved actor leave. Still, out of all, they definitely didn't expect it to be her that left. And so, Perrette's departure from the show after its 15th season was a shock to literally everyone. Abby Ciotto was a fan favorite character. The forensic scientist was known for her unique style and interest in the supernatural. The actress first announced her departure in 2017 through Twitter, and while fans weren't happy about the lack of information on what really happened, they had to accept it. Fortunately, though, the actress didn't leave them hanging for too long. It really makes me sad. Did you go through that whole grieving process. I'm still grieving. It feels different nearly every day, you know, and it's sad. I, I usually cry in my car every single day when I drive to work. In May 2018, she finally decided to open up about what really happened. She said that she'd been a victim of bullying and physical assaults while still on the show. And to think that it all started with a dog. Yep, a dog. One that belonged to Mark. You see, one day, Herman decided that it was a good idea to bring his dog to set. Not that I have anything against dogs. The problem over here was that this particular dog was clearly untrained. At least judging from the fact that it bit a crew member. The poor staff member got injured pretty badly that they needed 15 stitches. So we all know the drill for when something like this happens. The dog stays at home and receives some proper training. But the thing is, Mark didn't seem to think that this applied to him and continued to bring his dog to set. You could only imagine how uncomfortable the people there felt. And well, Perrette was no exception. I love here, here at Dog Wars. I'm here every single year. Like It's one of my favorite ones. It's such a touching amazing night just to celebrate these animals that do so much and tonight i'm presenting for um hero law enforcement dog and i'm a huge fan of law enforcement and the actress decided that she wasn't going to let things go on like this and took the issue to the cbs higher ups realizing that things were getting out of hand they banned the dog from the set let's just say Harmon was not happy about this turn of events and he made it known um i, I just I, I really believe this and uh, but I, I think anybody on this show is replaceable. And I You're not. They're not going to sack you. Uh, would they sack you? Yeah, maybe. I mean... They'd sack me in a heartbeat. Listen, we're all so, amazed so, I'm I, still I, here. I don't believe... Yes. Uh, this created a rift between the two actors, and from then on, the two refused to act in the same room as the other. Throughout Perrette's final season on NCIS, she and Harmon filmed on different days from one another. And obviously, the effect traveled onto the big screen. After all, their characters Gibbs and Pseudo largely remained apart. Of course, there were a few scenes with the two characters together because both of them played extremely important roles. And keeping them apart would have been bad for the show. But if you think that these two managed to make an uneasy alliance just for these few scenes, you're wrong. He's just so strong and handsome and quiet, so I named him Jethro. Abby. Well, Butch was just too, you know, Butch. And don't worry, because I got enough blood and hair and fiber samples before I cleaned him. In fact, these two actors worked in isolation from each other and then edited together. Respect the editing team, really. I mean, they worked magic. Besides, the two didn't even share the screen together during Perrette's emotional final episode. Instead, Ciudo said her goodbyes to her colleagues at NCIS headquarters and just gave a letter to Gibbs and watched him read it from across the street. In the end, Perrette's departure was not the result of the usual behind-the-scenes drama associated with Hollywood productions. It was a decision based on a situation involving a dog and the network's subsequent ban of the beloved animal from the set. Well, only beloved to Mark, but that's beside the point. Well, all actors think the same thing, right? Like every show we're going to do, they, they, everybody thinks it's going to go forever and do well. It doesn't work out that way right. normally. Um, walking down a street in Salzburg, Austria, Try, I mean. However, Perrette's willingness to publicly discuss her experiences with bullying and assault while working on the show is beneficial in the long run. It sheds light on the importance of creating a safe and respectful work environment in the entertainment industry. By sharing her story publicly, Perrette has helped to make a future having better working conditions in the entertainment industry. Being an actor is kind of like being in a closet. I spend a good part of my life pretending to be something that I'm not. People might think I'm a multitasking, omnipotent prodigy scientist, but guess what? I'm not. 
like being an actor, and here, no one knows who you truly are. Hopefully, her actions will serve as an inspiration for others to speak out and demand the respect they deserve. Still, going public with her story wasn't exactly easy for her. In fact, she struggled with the decision for a while. After the broadcast of her last episode, Polly made a bunch of vague tweets that seemed to refer to the incident. The first tweet said that she refused to go low, and that was why she'd never gone public with what happened. But she complained that there were a lot of articles spreading lies about her. The next day, she made another tweet in which she considered that she might have been wrong for not spilling the beans, but she was still trying to protect her crew and their jobs by doing the right thing. Though she just wasn't sure if silence about the crime was the right thing. In yet another tweet, she revealed that there was a machine that was keeping her silent and feeding false stories about her. She complained that there were no morals or obligation to truth, and she was just left sitting and reading lies and trying to protect her crew. She added that she'd always supported anti-bullying programs, but now she knows firsthand how it affects someone. She mentioned that she'd been physically assaulted multiple times and that it was horrifying, especially if the bullying was at school or work that you really need to get to. She also advised her fans to stay safe and that nothing is worth their safety, so they should tell someone if they're being bullied. Though it didn't take long for the damage control to start either, because of course, CBS was quick to release its own statement. The network said that Polly had approached with workplace concern about a year ago. They insisted that they took the situation seriously and worked with her to find a solution. That said, what action can you even take here other than, well, firing Mark Harmon or punishing him, I guess. They also mentioned that she had had a terrific run on NCIS and that she would be missed, which, again, was just PR talk for the most part. After all, it seems like the actions they took weren't good enough since Pauly had to leave the show. Still, there have repeatedly been rumors about her returning to the show, though sadly they're only rumors, because she seems terrified of returning. She took to Twitter in 2019, making it clear to her fans that she's never coming back and that she was afraid of Harmon attacking her in a now-deleted tweet. She claimed that she was physically assaulted while trying to protect her fellow crew members. She revealed that she still had nightmares about it and that she was happy on her new show, Broke, which is a sitcom also on CBS. Unfortunately, Broke was canceled after one season, and Polly announced that she was retiring from acting in 2020. Now, as sad as her relationship with Harmon is, luckily, she hasn't completely cut off all her old colleagues from NCIS. Other cast members, like Brian Dietzen, in fact, she tweeted a photo of her and Brian in June 2022. Later on in September, Stephen D. Binder, showrunner of NCIS, announced that he wanted to bolster Abby's presence in the series. But considering Polly has no desire to return to filming, that probably means reference to her character rather than an appearance on screen. Either way, unless she has changed her position since then, she's completely unwilling to work with Harmon in the future. And it's understandable. He doesn't exactly sound like an ideal colleague. But the funny thing is that all this time, despite all the accusations levied against him, there's been radio silence from Harmon regarding the situation. If he'll ever break, his silence remains to be seen. Well, folks, this is what really happened between Polly Perrette and Mark Harmon.